Household pests. You know them, I know them, and I think you all know where this is going. You're at the stroke of midnight, you're comfy at your blanket, you could be on your phone, you could be on the TV, whatever the fuck you're doing at the stroke of midnight. And all of a sudden, in the shadow of the light, whether that's your phone, your lamp, or even your own fucking room light, you see something fly past. It scares the shit out of you unexpectedly. What is it? It's a giant fucking moth that's flown in from the window next door or slightly under the cracks of your carpet floorboards. This is a pain in the ass because not only do you have to get up out of your warm ass bed, but you have to take care of some other cunt's fucking problem. Let's say some bastard downstairs has let a moth or a fly in and it basically just ruins the home environment. That bastard don't pay rent, so why the fuck should it enter your household because it's warm? If every cunt on the street entered our houses because it were warm, we'd have more fucking rosas on estates. You know what I mean, Sheffield lads. Another fucking problem that people face is spiders. I don't mind them. I mean, I don't fucking like them, but I don't mind them if they were in the house. Or at least, I don't mind them there if I know where they are. Because if there were a massive fuck off spider in the house and I don't know where it is and it just naturally crawls out under the bed, I'll tell you something, I'm gonna have brown sheets for the rest of the week. Rats! Right then, how many of you have ever had a rat problem? This could be in your garden, this could be in your fucking house. You've got to set up mouse traps and those things. I won't want to step on those when you go up at night to have a piss. Think about it. It's just a basically the metal from a paperclip that just swings back and takes whatever the fuck's in its path off. And if you wake up in the morning and you see just at your bedside table that there's a mouse trap with a mouse in it, you probably just ruined your Persian carpet. Ants. Ants are the fucking worst. Why? Because they can grow wings. And when they grow wings, what else can they grow? Fucking teeth. And what do they grow when they have teeth? Fucking fangs. And what do they grow when they have fangs? A fest for blood. And that's why ant farms and ant hills are the most dangerous fucking pests you can have, not only in your garden, but in your fucking house as well. How many of you have had ants in your house? And I mean, a shite ton. Some daft cunts just left some food on the side and no cunts picked it up. And then a whole farm, an army of ants flying or otherwise, all crawling along your kitchen floor. That is a fucking nightmare. It bugs me. <laughs> bugs. It bugs me why all these fucking ants breed at the stroke of a heartbeat. You could just nip to shop and come back and there's a fucking ant farm taking up all your beds, your fucking pots and plates. You could have a whole ant farm in your front room and you won't even fucking notice it until it's too late. Fuck ants. Wasps. How many of you have ever had a wasp's nest around your house? And I don't mean those little fucking ones that hang around around flowers. I'm on about those like fucking fist sized nests that have fucking hornets and shit in it. I fucking hate wasps. I've never been stung by a bee or a wasp, and if you see how people react, you understand why they're a problem. I think you know why they're a problem. But out of all the pests, I think wasps are the most difficult to get rid of if you have a nest problem. You have to wear all this sort of crazy fucking ass gear just to, I don't know, attempt to go near them. And if you go in their bare skin and it's a fist sized hornet's nest, your skin's gonna look like a fucking tomato puree at end at night. Off the top of my head, those were partially some of the more annoying household pests that you probably will end up dealing with. I'm not gonna lie, like you will probably have an ant's nest at some point. It happens. The little bastards, they just skitter away in the fucking cracks of your kitchen floor. And it's something you can't really notice until it's too late. And that's a problem for some. And if you do have any of these pests at the time of this recording now, you are my condolences. Fuck household pests. Right then, that's all I've got to say. It was just a minor video, so it wasn't like, it wasn't too, eh, whatever. I thought it was good, and it's a good video to start the year off, I think. We're talking about fucking pests, because the word pests is means fucking annoying. So... If you like the video and you could relate to in any single way, be sure to leave me a like and even a comment. Let me know, have you faced any household pests? Little bastards skittering away on your carpets? I'd love to know. And with all that out of the way, 
Happy New Year, you set of bastards, and I'll see you in a bit. Much love. Hey, hey, hey.